Hi everyone, I'm Susan from SusanAfter60.com. This week I got new eyeglasses and I thought it might be fun to show you my journey through eyeglasses in the last 20 or so years. I actually had um, frames like this in the 90s. They're granny glasses, that's what we called them I think, and they are, believe it or not, they're gold. What was I thinking? Gold doesn't work for me at all. But they were lightweight and comfortable. I think I was still making jewelry a little bit back then. And so they were light and easy to wear. So I still have them. I still use them at my computer occasionally. But not very often and never in public. <laughs> and then later on in the 80s, we had this kind of plastic style that got to be pretty famous, pretty common. <laughs> and... Um, when you change to the plastic, that was a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more modern, but so small and not the right shape for my face at all. They sort of repeat the shape of my eyes. And they're a weird color. They're sort of a brownish red. So chalk that up to lesson. Now, in the 90s, I thought I was all sophisticated and knew some things. So I bought these glasses. They're Saks Fifth Avenue style, and they are okay, but that was a style that was um, really popular in the 90s. Horizontal, angular, remember that? Uh, I still see these occasionally, but they feel very dated to me now because they're too wide and too narrow. So they leave too much of my face exposed and make me look jowly, and they're just not right. And then after that, in the early 2000s, I bought these. And they are okay. A lot of people like them a lot. I have, my prescription has changed twice since I got these. So I did have to get an upgrade. The color's a little bright. As I get older, I go with softer tones of color and more muted, um, more muted colors and more muted metals, not, not anything bright and certainly not anything gold. So you can see um, these are a little bit harsh, a little bit dark. So this time I went for a little bit softer color and a little bit smaller frame area. So these are the ones I got. They have a little bit of metal here that's sort of platinum, um, hematite, a grayish color that's not too bold. And then the frame is a gray that's soft and neutral. And it kind of goes with my eyes and with my hair and a lot of my clothes. Since charcoal gray is one of my neutral basics that I wear quite a bit. So I was going to talk to you today also about how I chose these frames and why I chose them. If you have ever noticed, for instance, um, Oh, what's her name? Uh, Jennifer Aniston. She has that small, firm jaw and sort of a heart-shaped face, and she looks wonderful in aviator-shaped frames. I can't wear aviator-shaped frames because they come down on my face and point, draw attention to my jowls. That's not what I want to do. So I want to have sort of straight lines and sort of um, soft lines at the same time. So uplifting here and not, not any wider than the widest part of my face. So my widest part is right in here. And so these are just, just about inside that line. So they're, you know, in balance with my face and no harsh straight lines. And the lenses themselves follow the shape of my eyebrows and they allow me to look straight out the center and still not see the frame as I'm moving and working. So another thing you want to think about is the placement of the temple. I think this is called a temple. Some people call it the arm. Sometimes that is attached down here at the bottom of the frame. That's very detrimental to us older ladies because it's pointing down. We don't want anything to point down. We want uplifting. So if it's in the center, that's okay, but it's kind of outdated looking. So you want to go with one that's attached to the top of the frame in the corner and the whole frame is sort of a um, cat eye, but not extreme, just a slight uplift at the corners. So these are the classes I chose and that's why I chose them. 
I hope my little lesson today helps you choose the right glasses for you and that you enjoyed this. I'm Susan and I write the blog susanafter60.com. Bye!